Welcome back everyone to another beer review. Uh, next beer up is one that I got for my birthday from the mother-in-law and father-in-law. Uh, and it's, I'm not sure where it would have come from. I'm going to guess, I think I might have seen it in Morrison's, I think. Uh, and it's an ale. And it's Gem Amber Ale. And this is from Bath Ales. It's coming in at 4.8%. Uh, I'm going to guess this was probably part of a 3 for a 5 or a 4 for 6. It's a 500ml bottle. I, I, I quite like that rabbit on the artwork. I don't know what it is. I don't particularly like the colours, but I quite like the rabbit on the artwork. Uh, the lettering's embossed on it. Nice bottle cap. Bar fails with the hair on it. Uh, this should be something different for me. Uh, am I expecting too much? Not generally, I'll be honest with you. If it's a supermarket ale, that's probably, and I'm certain it is, it's probably just one of them bog standard kind of supermarket ales that you can pick up for, like I said, three for a five or four for six pounds. Uh, but it's a thought that counts, and I'm quite happy to have a good old drink. So, got myself a different glass out today. Thought I'd get me old, uh, this is pretty good for ales, the old beer hall glass tankard. So, uh, Let's get it out, get it into a glass, see what we get. Plenty of smoke on the opening there, plenty of smoke. Beaker's having a review off. He's had to go and do some shopping. So, look at it. I don't suppose this is bottle conditioned. I'll have a look at the bottle after and see what it says. But it's pouring nicely. I'll give it a bit of a swirl in case there is anything in there, but it's poured nicely. Let's have a look. Do, 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 do. No, it's not saying an awful lot, to be honest. Not saying an awful lot. In the glass, big bubbles, slightly off white. It's, I would say, amber copper in colour. Good levels of carbonation rising up the glass. It's, it's clear. You can tell it's clear. I know it doesn't look it, but it is clear. There's no haziness sort of in there, as you sort of probably wouldn't really expect. Uh, it looks as an ale would expect. The fact that the head isn't disappearing really quick is is quite promising. Uh, you certainly get a lot of ales that sort of the head just gone uh, because that tends to be sort of how they are anyway. But this seems to be holding nicely. So let's get a nose on it, see what we get without spilling it everywhere. Hopefully. Malty, I'm getting a, uh, oh, what's that? Hoppy, hoppy smell in there, definitely getting the hops. Bit of malt in there, I'd say, something malty. What is it? There's, yeah, malty characters, which is what I'm getting, but it's that sort of typical ale malt whiff on it. Almost, almost toffee caramel kind of aromas in there, but it smells like an ale. So, uh, you know, let's just dive in, see what we get. So, cheers, everyone. Cheers, mum, dad. <laughs> Malty. Body's, body's average, I would say. Probably what you'd expect from it. There isn't much carbonation in your mouth. Quite smooth in the mouth, I wouldn't say you know got to take it for what it is oh, 
hoppy, quite bitter on the back end. But I wouldn't say it has a lot in it really. got like a little bit of creaminess to it but flavor wise it's that typical sort of malty bitterness uh, typical sort of ale uh, I wouldn't say anything sort of stands out uh, It's probably okay. Now, I'm not a big ale fan, necessarily. Uh, but I do like them. Don't get me wrong. So, for me, it doesn't... It's just a traditional bog-standard sort of ale. Uh, it's okay. Uh, excuse me. Not for my taste. Uh, but I'm sure a lot of people out there, uh, you drink these sort of ales, it probably would appeal to them. It's quite smooth to drink. 4.8%, I wouldn't say you're getting the 4.8 in there. Uh, it's quite smooth, easy, quite easy to drink. Uh, it's got that bit of bitterness on the end. Uh, it's a typical sort of old man's drink for me, I would say. Uh, nothing particularly special in there I'm not picking up a lot of flavors multi character a little bit RP is smooth in the mouth though I will give it that it, it does drink very nice mouthfeel to it uh, so yeah if you like your rails like I said, I'm guessing this was probably from Morrison, something like that, because I've seen it about. Uh, pick one up. Uh, if you've had it, let me know what you think. Like I say, I'm not a big ale drinker, personally. Uh, but it's okay. The big thing, I think, for it is it's got a nice, nice mouthfeel when you're drinking it. So, if you like a bitter, malty drink, you may well like it. And you're going to get a nice mouthfeel with it as well. And it's reasonably cheap, I'm guessing. So, there you go. That's the review done. Thanks for watching everyone. Like I said, feel free to comment. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you again on another beer review very soon. Cheers.